G'day YouTubers. Now, last time we talked about on the CBUS network this input device and how I had a separate switch which was just uh, either open or closed contacts that told the input device whether the switch was on or off and then went along the CBUS network and then told the appropriate output device to close the relay or uh, whatever else needed to be done for the light or fan to come on. So today we are going to look at uh, another type of input device. Which I haven't opened yet, but let's have a go at that. So uh, any, I can't have any, uh, don't have any complaints about the packaging. You say the packaging is very well done. So these are passive infrared uh, occupancy sensors that um, are designed to go on the C-Bus network. They go in your ceiling, and when someone walks in the uh, area that it detects it. You can have it do the functions you need to do, turn the lights on, dim the lights, whatever. Whatever you set them up to be, uh, to, to, to do on the, on the network. I haven't seen these before in person. I've only seen pictures of them and read about them. Um, <clears throat> that's where the CBUS cabling, the Cat6, oh, sorry, Cat5 cabling connects up to, is in through this hole. Uh, I haven't had this open, but it looks like there's two different types of connections. I'll have to take the cover off and see what we've got. Let's get this thing open and have a look inside it. Does it pop open or what does it do? Yeah, it pops open. Okay, so what have we got here? Two types of connections. And looks like there's a positive and negative symbol on the circuit board there, positive and negative. And it's those two end ones are common. Oh no, sorry, those two square ones. So you've got square pads and then you've got round pads. The two square one, uh, square pads are common. I'm guessing the two round ones will be common too. It's strange that they've used two different types of connectors. Hmm, all right. Let's connect some power up and see if they, if they work. Let's we'll see if we can read the device. that's connected. I don't see any lights or anything come on. So they can read the device in the toolkit. Alright so we just scanned the uh, network and the new device should show up here in the network. Currently said we had 30 devices on there. We're now at 31 so it's obviously found it. Oh, and the light's coming on too now. It's doing some strange pulsing. I don't know what that's supposed to be. Anyway, let's see if we can talk to it. Is it there?
There it is there. Passive infrared motion detector, outdoor, sorry, indoor flash, flush mount. So if we click on that, oh, it jumped on me. Click on that. Still flashing. All right. Um, oh, well, let's just reset the unit. Yes. And we will apply to the database. Okay. Now the address that this unit's been given is 61. Cancel that. Uh, we go back up to here, our database. And it should be in here under 61, which it is. And we want to change the address. What's our, our address that's available? So 40 is the next one in line. Yep, 40. So we're going to change our address. Um, so to do that, go back to here and we Stupid thing. Go back to here and we readdress. That's what we're looking for. And we readdress it to 40. Just to keep it in sequential order. And now we should be able to program that up. And to test it, I'm going to put it on the shed uh, outdoor uh, shed relay. I think it's his relay one. And function. We'll make it time on and then time off after two seconds. So it's off, just for testing purposes. And we'll apply, save to database. And I'll notice that the lights stop flashing now. If I move in front of it, it should trigger. All right, I see what I've done wrong. Uh, in the database I've changed the address of the unit but I didn't actually physically change the address of the unit on the network so as you can see it's still 61 down here so we need to click on that readdress make it 40 now we should be able to control the unit. All right, it's looking a bit more promising. So relay two, and this is motion in light, and we. Uh, testing this so we'll just put it for two seconds on and then two seconds off oh well, uh, sorry two seconds on and then off when it picks up motion oh, I'm gonna save it to apply 
So over to the database and physical unit. Okay, if you heard that, the relay clicked on. It's on, it's off. No, might be too quick for it. Here we go. On, off. On, off. So you can hear the relay clicking on and off. Try to stop moving and it'll settle down. All right, well, that seems to be working. All right, well, the next video will be installing this unit and configuring it to the hallway lights. So when the kids walk in the hallway, the lights turn on automatically for them. And, they, and then it will dim down after um, five minutes or whatever. Dim the lights down to a point where they turn off. I'm gonna have it dim slowly down over a period of minutes, whatever, seconds. Um, I might do that, I might have it so it dims down over two minutes. So the lights just slowly, gradually get lower in brightness. Um, but yeah, so that's these units. Um, picked these up off eBay for about uh, $22 each, which if you look at the retail price on these uh, at a wholesaler, um, a wholesale electrical place, you'll, um, you're looking at an easy 140, 160 bucks. And these are about uh, eight, nine years old. They've come out of um, they've come out of a installed situation and they've been um, pulled out. And um, the sellers put them on eBay as a bulk lot, and we're going to have a bit of fun with them. I only need about four: one in the hallway, one in the pantry, one in the walk-in wardrobe, and. Um, I might put one somewhere else, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the fourth one, but the rest of them I'm probably just going to uh, on sell uh, and it'll get me money back. So uh, they go on eBay for about between $60 and $80 uh, for $22.50 including freight, can't complain. All right, that's it for the moment and we'll uh, do a follow-up video of this being installed in the hallway and programming the uh, function so it dims down. And we'll uh, see you on the next one. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. And we'll catch you later. Bye.